my final bar. Every year is getting shorter, we see. Why? Because as unbelievable as it might sound, I had a birthday yesterday and because I'm ageless, I don't have to reveal how old or young I am. And what else? Well, weather is getting colder. It's about minus 11 degrees Celsius. So I guess I have to start to wear some underwear. Hope you already guessed that it's Yarko and it's time to take a look at my finds in November 2013. This time I also find something else than wine. So welcome to my wine bar. Sit back and relax. Here we go. Cheers. And can you believe it? In November I bought two CDs. And why? Because both of those came with a DVD. And the first one is this. So the ZZ Top Eliminator European Union Pressing 2008 release. Um, Eliminator was originally released in 1983, so this is its 25th anniversary release. And this includes both CD and DVD. And of course, there are bonus tracks uh, C 7 bonus tracks on CD and 4 videos plus 4 live versions on DVD and even though I have known ZZ Top since this album was originally released this is actually my first ZZ Top record ever. Oh, just unbelievable. And the next one is I went on Black Metal. This is also European Union pressing release in 2009. Originally this was released in 1982 and this album gave its name to a whole genre of music and on the back side of this album there is a legendary warning how taping is killing music so I went on I have to say that when on was a pretty awful live band, but somehow they were talented enough to write some classic songs. And so I have said this includes both CD and DVD. And the um, CD has more than 10 bonus tracks, and DVD has a full length concert video, the seventh. Date of Hell, live at Hammersmith Odeon, London, June 1984, and there's also three bonus promo One hell of an album, and then comes first seven inch fine deep purple. Above and Beyond German Pressing 2013 release. 
nice pictures sleeve. Red wine room. Might say that this is a custom label. Numbered copy. For it is a human number. Its number is 571 out of 2000. B side has a live track, space tracking. Recorded live in Milan, Magliano, Mahan, Italy, July 2013, previously unreleased track. And then comes the first LP, and it's Black Sabbath Born Again, and this is Mexican pressing. 1983 release. And this one comes insert with lyrics. And this pressing must be old because there's no barcode and that also available but doesn't even mention CD and those are always good things and I have to say that this is kind of forgotten and underrated from classic fun favorite album and but there's at least three excellent Sabbat classics. Trust disturbing the priest and digital beats. And this is to date the last Sabbat studio album to feature Bill Ward on drums. And something about album cover. Legend has it that Bill hated the cover and according to him, Ian Gillan vomited when he first saw the cover. And of course, Tony Iommi approved it. The cover has been considered one of the worst album covers ever. Is it really that bad? I don't think so. But you tell me. And this Mexican pressing has pretty interesting looking labels. I scanned it and I can show you the picture just to compare these two different labels. This is original Dutch pressing. So wait a second. Yeah.